But Chad, why don't you take a moment and uh, tell folks about your background and how it is we work together and doesn't so. Sure. So I was, uh, when I was growing up, I was told you got to go to school, get good grades and get a good job or J-O-B as we call it, right? And so that's what I did. I went to school. I got great grades. I'm Asian, of course. So I get, you know, straight A's and good stuff, right? You're really good at math, right? <laughs> that's right. I was good at math. <laughs> So uh, as a lot of many Asians during my time, uh, we uh, were either doctors or engineers and I became the engineer, uh, went to college, got good grades again and uh, got a job as an engineer. So I'm working as an engineer in the corporate world at a multi-billion dollar company. And, you know, always nagging at me, Jay, was I need to do more. I need to do something else because th I wasn't made to be an engineer. I was made to do a lot more then go to a job eight o'clock in the morning, come home at eight o'clock in the night, you know, 10, 12 hours a day working for somebody else doing something that I might be good at only I don't really enjoy or I don't have really have a passion about. So during that time I uh, decided to start something on the side and that was my real estate business started investing in 2002 and Lost a ton of money on my first deal, Jay. Uh -oh. I'll tell you. <laughs> There's one big lesson that's, right there. That's a book that I need to write, right? <laughs> of what not to do. And uh, one thing that I didn't have, just to share with everybody, one thing I didn't have was a coach or a mentor to call up and say, what's going on? What am I doing wrong? Or what am I not doing? What, what should I be doing that I'm not doing? And that's really what got me in trouble, Jay. It was really some of the things that I should have done that I wasn't doing. So it wasn't necessarily I was doing something wrong. It was I was missing some steps. Mm -hmm. I was missing some things that I should have been doing. And so I lost a ton of money on that first deal. Learned, uh, I went through the school of hard knocks and, and you know, lost a ton of money. And, and then I got smart. And I said, I need help. And so I got a mentor. I got a coach and started doing some more deals. And then... I realized how powerful a coach and a mentor can be for somebody's business and success. And that led me to personal development, which led me to fall into love with coaching. And so I started transitioning from real estate into coaching. And then while I was coaching at a real estate event, I met this guy right here, Mr. Jay Connor. And it was like, uh, it was like a spark right away. It was like, I like this guy. He, you know, he, he, we resonate. And I like what he's doing. And at that time, you were just starting your Where to Get the Money Now course. Mm -hmm. and you're like, I'm going to be a speaker and a trainer. Right? Right. <laughs> I'm like, me too. I'm doing the same thing. I'm right. a speaker and trainer too. And so we kept in touch over the years. And, and then, Jay, you started blowing up. I mean, you started teaching and training a whole ton of people. And along the way, you said, hey, Chappie, come join the party. And I was just like, I'm there. <laughs> Where am I at? And let's, uh, let's join, uh, join the party. And You've probably been coming to all of uh, our live events, probably been seven years yeah. or more, seven, eight years, something like that. But yeah, uh, Chaffee is, um, helps me run um, my mastermind group as well. So, wow, mastermind group is like starting to blow up uh, <laughs> big time. Yeah. Because we had 22 of us in the room, thereabouts, 20, 21, 22 of us in the room, um, week before last <clears throat> at the uh, mastermind. And um, we like almost doubled that now. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, Chaffee is a very, very important part of uh, my team uh, when it comes to working with our students and et cetera.